Welcome back to the Elite Automation YouTube channel. If you're interested in anything automation related, we do technical conversation, career conversations, and, and just topics all around the automation and manufacturing industry. So stay tuned and there'll be a ton more content to come. Uh, today, I'm gonna help you guys get through how to adjust the camera position of a Kiant's camera. So in this particular instance, we're using a profiler. You can see in the back where the robot is doing a scan right now with the Kiant's. Uh, camera and and basically what we have is the image that's coming in is at an angle right which makes it very difficult to get a, a clean XY value especially as like the robot shifts around to different positions uh, so if you want to get a flat plane and I'll show you a very good example here's an example of, of an object being in a, a flat plane versus an isometric type of view so what we're gonna do is take this image that is an isometric type of view and we are going to capture a flat type of view. So in order to do that, we're gonna to have to put this uh, system into setup mode, okay? So it'll say setup. I'll just go ahead and put it into run mode real quick. Do you wanna save changes? I'll say yes. Okay, so you'll see go to setup mode here. Uh, if, it, if it says go to run mode, you're already in setup mode. Then we're gonna go over here to set head go to profile very simple to do if you if you know where to find it okay so this is head a we've already done this for head a this is where you see this image that's flat right now we're gonna go over to head B so we have two vision uh, cameras on here and that's why we have a head a and a head B you may only have one if you just have one uh, camera so going all the way down to the bottom we'll go tilt correction we want to check that after you check that, a settings, the settings button will allow you to press it. You can then press that settings button and it'll have you at the, the top, I believe. You might have to scroll down in some instances uh, depending on like what camera settings and stuff you have. So installation tilt correction angle. So for us, we know that the uh, camera is mounted on the robot tooling at a 15 degree angle. So we can come in here and we can tell this camera that it is mounted at a 15 degree angle. So just tick up, these little tick ups here. Also, just some a little bit of a tip. Uh, you might have it like a negative 15, you might have a positive 15. It kind of may just depend on your application and you're not really gonna hurt anything if you're just collecting data uh, to, to, to test it out, right? Try, try a negative, try a positive, and also think in increments of like 90 these, these should be to a zero plane, right? So if it's 15 degrees, it should be 15 degrees. But in some instances when you're dealing with angles, you might have to take like a 90 degree angle minus, let's say 15. Uh, for this instance, we don't have to, but a lot of times when you're dealing with different angle things, you have to uh, kind of minus it from other square angles to, to get the proper angle that you're looking for. That's just a little bit of a, a tip when dealing with angles. we hit okay. Okay it again. Boom. As you can see, the image came in. Uh, the robot's scanning behind me, so it automatically pulled in a new image. It's in auto mode. Uh, as you can see, we just pulled in a new image. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to a tool that we have here. And boom, boom, boom. I'm going to go to this tool. And, and the thing that you want to make sure that you do is that you change your register image right here. So if you see this hook right here in the reference image, it's still an isometric view. So all of our tests are being performed off of this registered image uh, of the isometric view. Whereas if you go here and you look at current image, you can see it's flat, right? So you're taking a flat image and you're trying to compare it against an isometric image, which can give you bad data and it's 100% not what you want to do. Uh, so you, you have to perform your scan you have to have that kind of auto process or you can kind of manually actuate it but with a profiler type of camera you have to have motion while doing the um the scan so i'm gonna just wrap this up right here with the without the the cameras thing so i can just wrap it up uh then we're gonna go save image we're gonna say okay we're gonna okay it again and basically it's just going to overwrite the, the reference image that we have here. So if there's anything in this reference image you don't want to lose, be very careful because 
uh, it's going to override it. You're going to lose any potential data that may be there. Maybe there's other things that you're you're looking at uh, with maybe another head that may mess up your your data that you have set up in another tool. So be very careful of those type of things because that will 101% mess up uh, different tools that you have already set up. It might have to start all the way over from scratch. Boom. So this concludes this video. Uh, thank you. Hit the subscribe button for more content like this. Like I said, technical content, uh, automation related, manufacturing related content. That's what we're all about. Catch you all in the next one.